So today we're going to do something completely different again. This is something I've never spoken about before on this channel. I'm going to be talking about my school days. <laughs> To start things off, I was always interested in electronic stuff, technology, and of course, the internet. But a lot of these things I learned on my own. I've only been able to practice really late in school and then obviously in uni. But let me tell you what I studied in school. So initially, I was studying product design, business, and Spanish. I remember I chose business because it had to do with computers. So I was always looking forward to being in the class on the computers. Product design because it just sounded the most interesting. Design and technology was very cool. I also did food tech where you get to cook and make food. I remember making these like vegetables vegetable samosas. It's one of the recipes I remember and I really like them. I remember we had to buy the ingredients and bring them all the way to school in this bag and yeah you just learn to cook. But as I was saying design and technology I learned a lot of things like how to make basic things out of wood and I remember making this one thing. I made a lightsaber. That's right. I've never seen Star Wars but we were talking about ideas for things to make for an end of year project and the first thing that came to mind was that. It took a while to make but it was actually very fun. I really liked making that and even even while I was making it, I tried to watch Star Wars, but I just fell asleep. One day I will. But yeah, it also made me realize that I prefer to be more practical about things. Personally, I don't like reading or studying that much. I would much rather make something like in real life or creatively. I remember I always made PowerPoints. Always, always. I, I loved it. And yes, I put all the fancy transitions. But yeah, apart from product design and business, there was also Spanish. I like languages. And because I already spoke Italian, it was going to be easier for me to learn. So this was like year 9, 10, and 11. Then we move on to year 12 and 13 and for that I chose product design again Spanish again and finally media but I'll get onto that later so product design again I did it for two weeks <laughs> and the reason was is it was just too much work so I decided this isn't for me I'm not gonna be passionate about this I tried to relate in it to a future career as in like would I really be the person to make the stuff for films for example and I was like no I want to do the technical part so to quit a subject you had to go speak to the teacher so I went to speak to the teacher and I said Look, sir, I'm really sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. And he looked at me and said, Oh, Brian, is it because of me? Obviously, he was joking. He was the one that taught me for two years when I was doing the lightsaber. So he just said, No worries, follow your passion. So I was just left with media and Spanish. Spanish was quite interesting. I remember we went to a few theaters, and obviously, I learned to hablar en español. I can speak and understand just enough. Hopefully, it will help me when I go to Spain. And finally, media. So why was it the best? It was a subject I finally wanted to do. I feel like I applied myself to this subject more than any other one. And I think I've said this before, at the time I put more effort into making these videos than actual schoolwork. I knew that I wasn't going to be a scientist. I knew what I wanted to do. So that's why media was my best choice. I even remember I was talking about the future with my teacher. So I showed him three of my videos and he liked them. He said these are very good. It was mostly to show film skills. So yeah, I did a music video as well. It was just so fun. It was the best subject I've ever studied. But after that, I graduated and I can definitely say it has helped. Not really with the skills because I had them before already. I didn't learn anything new in that sort of sense. I mostly learned that if you're gonna make something it has to have a meaning and yeah it's helped me with these videos because my videos always used to be so random but now there's always a message within the video or something, a purpose. I also made a film, I helped to film it and I did the editing and yeah that's about it for my school education journey. What I'm trying to say here is always follow your dreams because even though there was no subject for me at school until like the the final years, I still kept pushing and pushing to get to where I am today. I always imagined myself like working at my desk, editing something and getting paid. But it's always been something that I thought it's not impossible. And right now it's a reality. I'm just really happy where I am right now. Like I'm working from home, creating videos for people. But yeah, this was my education slash school stories. I don't know. I think this channel needed something different since last week we got in a little bit of trouble. I thought why not do something a little bit education. Let me educate you. Thank <laughs> you.